What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is James Jackson with MachineMasters.com, checking in once again with another Machine Masters tutorial. What I'm going to talk about in today's tutorial, I'm taking this question actually right from a question on another one of the Machine Master tutorial videos. It was asked how to route multiple outputs of the Play VST in Machine. Um, as some of you may or may not know, um, the Play VST is a, basically it's kind of like a sampler, kind of like a rompler, um, but libraries by the company East West are loaded into that, um, into that sampler and then, you know, it's kind of like contact, it's like their version of contact. So, nonetheless, I'm going to show you guys today how to route multiple sounds out of one instance of the Play VST. So uh, first off, you're going to have to obviously have the Play VST, and I've already taken the time to load it up. So bam, there it is. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our browser, and I'm just going to pick a, pick a sound to use. We'll use a staccato flute. Why not? So as it's loading up, you're going to see that it's going to load up, and it's going to go into the mixer, and you can see it's right over here, staccato flute. <laughs> So there it is. So there's our staccato flute. And as you can see, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You've got eight, you know, different uh, outputs. So you can load up to eight instruments and you can output these into their individual channels. So I'm going to show you how to do that, uh, as I stated before. So I've got the flute already loaded up. So I'm just going to create a quick, a quick riff. So there it is, plain and simple. There's the riff, blah, 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 blah. So now as you can see on the mixer, it's just like any other mixer. You know, it's got a couple of things that you can mess with. So over here, you've got your pan, uh, you've got your gain, you know, and you got your mute, you got your solo, and you've got effects. So as you can see, I need to update, or I should say upgrade, uh, but I'm not actually using it. So, but this is the main thing I want to show you right here. So you've got your output and you've got your your MIDI input and you've got your sound output. So if you click on the sound output, you can see you've got your main left right, which is your main stereo. And then you've got three and four, five, six, seven, eight, so on and so forth. So this is going to be our first sound. Bam. We're cool with it. Now say you want to load up a second sound. So we'll go back to our browser, and now let's say you want to roll up uh, like a glockenspiel. So you double click, and then you click on add. And now what you're going to do with add is add is not going to, is then going to put it on its own channel, as you can see here. So I've got this flute here and the glock here. So now if I press play, you're going to hear both sounds. Now say you want you don't you don't want that obviously that's the point of this tutorial you don't want that so what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the MIDI input and we're gonna change the main output so up here at the input you know it says Omni so that means doesn't matter what channel the MIDI is played it's going to play we don't want that so we're gonna go to our flute we're gonna make this channel one we're gonna come over here to our Glock we're gonna make this channel two so now when you press play all you got is the flute. Now, now you can't hear your Glock. So now we're going to come over here to our Glock. We're going to put it on output 3, 4, which this would be the equivalent to output 2. Um, main would be the equivalent to output 1. 5, 6 would be 3. 7, 8 would be 4, so on and so forth. Basically, multiply the second number by 2. So I'm going to make this output 3, 4. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over, I'm going to close this out, I'm going to come over here to pad 2. And now I'm going to click on the channel the channel tab up here. And we're going to go to input, click audio. So now you can see you've got your group and then you've got your play VST. Output 2, output 3, output 4, so on and so forth. There are 9 outputs. So I'm going to click number 2 to come in. And then we're going to click on the output. We're going to click on MIDI. And so 
as long as this says channel 2 and then channel 3 you'll be golden so you want to make sure this says channel 2 and then for a destination we're gonna click you guessed it the play VST so now when I come over to my keyboard all you're gonna hear is the Glock and now you can record that in So as you can see, I've got my Glock here and I've got my flute here. So now if I went to the mixer, you're going to see, bam. So they're already separated in machine. And then you can go ahead and you can put any effects that you want on them. So say I want on the Glock, I want to put, you know, uh, you know, like a, like a filter on it. So I hit the filter. So I got this low pass filter and of course you can automate it or do whatever you want to it. And as you can see the flute is completely unaffected. And say so you want to add another layer, that's not a problem. We can come right in here and you just follow the same steps. You hold, go to the browser. Uh, say I want to add now, add some staccato trumpets. Grab it, or click on it, and click Add. Now as it's loading, we'll come back over to the mixer page, and bam, there's your staccato trumpets. Send these out on 5.6. Uh, I'm going to fix that. I'm going to make these go out down the middle. I'm going to make this channel 3, and I'm going to come over to pad 3 and do the same thing. Set up my MIDI output to go to the play VST, and then set up my input to be number 3. So now, And then you can go on all day and all night with this. So what's cool about it, since they're all on their own mix, on the own mixer, you know what, here, let me label this so we know that this is the bell. And we know that this is the trumpets. So you can do effects, you can pan. Say we need some more trumpet. So that is how you, that is, so ladies and gentlemen, there it is. That is how you, you do multiple outputs using the Play VST. Again, I took this right from our, from one of our Machine Master tutorials. Um, questions that you guys may ask, I will look for them. Uh, I take them from YouTube. I prefer you guys go to the site. We have a uh, a tutorial section on the site uh, in our social media page and on our, all of our forums. Ask your questions as well. You can find me on there, and I'll answer your questions. Um, I'll either make a video for it. I'll answer your question straight up. It doesn't matter. But um, I'm always here to help. And Machine Masters, we are always here to help you guys become better producers. So I hope this answered a lot of questions, and I hope that cleared things up for you guys. Um, once again, this is James Jackson with MachineMasters.com signing out. Peace.